Hey guys, Rock and Roll, we're back with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Hero Coliseum. This time playing another match against Babusha01. So I'm going to give full credit to another player who sticks around to the end, which a lot of people don't seem to do. So, which deck was I using? My super defense deck again? Yes. Right, so um, I basically wanted a change away from the main deck I've been using, which I've had a few videos up recently on. So I went for this massive defense deck. I think I used it once before, but uh, sort of, I don't know if it got shown off particularly well. This isn't the best defense deck you can do. I mean, the character's out now, but... So he was running, ah uh, yes, Ultra Instinct Goku, Jiren that's probably had the one skills. It's basically the same thing you see in every game now. There's not a lot of variety in what figures you will see now. And because of that, it's getting a little boring to play online. Like, I wish there was... I don't know whether a banning system would work. Sort of like, you know, MOBAs. Where you could ban certain figures prior to a match. I know that would mess around with trying to build uh, character skills on them. But, I don't know, it's just... I feel like characters like Whis... Not Whis, Vados, sorry, which is ironic because I'm using Vados in this deck, but characters like Vados, Ultra Instinct, Goku, they just break the game a bit and they've made some characters useless, but nothing you can do about it now. So, so I set up Bardock down there. He has every turn skills just because I honestly don't have a lot of very good character skills, which is why Whis has Ultimate Gauge down turn one. It's completely trash, it's useless. But at the end of the day, it's that or nothing. So, it was that. This team isn't particularly quick, but it doesn't need to be because it's very defensive. And that is also good because a lot of people are running um, turn two. Sort of going second skills. So, having the uh, a slow deck is quite an advantage at the minute. But there's no reason to have a fast deck. So, I was fine with them outspeeding because there's no way... Apart from Bardock, who will probably die to the combination of uh, God Goku and Vegito. Well, I think that pairing would kill almost any figure in the game. But as you can see, Gohan barely scratched Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which is one of my favourite figures. Ah, uh, Bardock took that well. I suppose having Whis on the field does make a big difference. And allow him to survive that, because he should live off of God Goku after this. Even with his massive attack, he shouldn't be able to uh, wipe him. Nope. Did I get the counter attack? That won't kill Gohan, don't think. I did, Jesus. Super Saiyan 4 Goku hits harder than I remember. But, uh... Hitting him directly with Whis. Whis does quite a bit of damage, really. It's quite surprising how much damage these defense characters can do, because really, when you think of a defense deck, it's something where you build it up to outlast your opponent, and in this, it's just sort of, yeah, you've punched me twice, I punch you once, you're dead. That's kind of how these defense decks seem to work at the minute. Especially when you throw down uh, Vados, as she's just... She's just incredible. There's there's no other word for it. She completely broke the game, really, when she got put in. Which is why I use her in so many decks, because you've got to. You've got to use her. And that's a big problem that, <laughs> that we're in at the minute, because we've got a figure that you have to use. Same with Ultra Instinct Goku, really. If you've got him, you've got to use him. And stick him in the back line behind something else, and he just one-shots anything. But you have to do it because everyone else is doing it. Well, you don't have to, as this deck shows. I'm not using Ultra Instinct Goku. I don't think he's in one deck at the minute for me. I've got six decks set up. Not one of them has Ultra Instinct Goku. Because it's such a boring way to play. Like, you can you can two-turn anybody. Sort of with an Ultra Instinct Goku deck. So, there's just no fun to be had. So I'm using one skills. But uh, another thing that I don't use often at all because there's no fun in it. 
And this was taking him a long time to read through this stuff. <laughs> so, my deck was once again slower than him, which was what I wanted. I always want to be going second. Actually, have I got two turn or going second skills on these? I might not do yet. Bear in mind these were recorded a while ago before I ground out a bunch of TP medals recently and um, bought a bunch of character skills so this was probably done before I had those uh, turn 2 skills. I'm actually recording this on the um, day I've got back from holiday. This was one of the few videos I had left over. Like I literally I got home two hours ago. I unpacked and then I saw that I still had four videos that I hadn't commentated over so that's what I'm in the process of doing when this one's here. And this one won't even be uploaded for about a week. <laughs> Maybe a little sooner, I don't know. But uh, it's actually been quite fun going back and looking over these old videos and looking at these old team cards. Like some of these teams don't even, I don't even have them anymore. I don't think this defense deck exists anymore. I think I deleted it. Just because I run a deck for, I'll probably run a deck unless it's one that I've absolutely loved. I'll only run it for about five or six games, and then I'll get rid of it and play with something different because I get bored. The decks that have sort of survived are ones that um, usually involve Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta, and Android 17 because they're just brilliant. Those decks are so fun to use. But as usual, when commentating on these, I've gone away from the battle and just rambled, so here he's using his Ultra Instinct Goku even on his trigger square he's not going to be able to kill Whis I don't think because the modifier from Vados on his attack and the modifier from Goku and Whis on the damage they take is going to ensure that he should be able to survive it's what makes those three in particular on the field quite lethal you can switch up for say putting Ultra Instinct Goku behind a Whis or Vados, but I tend to just, like I say, I don't use Ultra Instinct Goku particularly often, so I run with what I've got there. I'm just sick of seeing Ultra Instinct Goku. There needs to be a counter come out to him. Please. I'd like to see something that just counters the massive attack characters that we've got, because him, Jiren, Vegeta. They're, they've really broken it in a way, along with the introduction of Vados when she came out. Like you've got so many potential characters coming up. You've got like the Shadow Dragons you could put in there. You've got Baby. I'm really looking forward to a good Baby figure. He's actually one of my favourite uh, characters. Like if they are going to implement more figures, make Baby an awesome one, and I would make I would make decks around him because Baby was a brilliant villain had a great motive, and was a high point in GT, which is kind of a hard thing to say, because GT wasn't great. It wasn't as bad as people say it was, but it wasn't particularly good. We've also got Super Android 17, if you go with GT, and there's just so many other villains that uh, could be introduced, that uh, it'd be a shame if they didn't uh, add a few more figures in. I'd like a few more figure battles as well, but since uh, the seven star missions are all filled up now, I don't think that'll happen. I kind of messed around for this last one. I just left uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku in. I think I assumed he was going to throw his Ultra Instinct Goku down the middle, and then it'll be a Goku off, basically. But uh, no, he actually threw him on his trigger square. I don't think uh, that was really a big concern for me at that point. I think I'd pretty much uh, wrap this up even if he did hit me directly and wow his speed is just garbage which means that he was actually using the health variant of Ultra Instinct Goku because the damage version has over 2000 uh, speed I only just noticed that yeah he's using the health variant which is absolutely useless it's, it's quite funny with a lot of these figures how they have two different versions and nine times out of ten one of them is just so much more useful than the other. Like the other Ultra Instinct Goku has over 9,000 attack and 2,000 speed. Anyway, 
that battle's over. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button and subscribe for some more Hero Coliseum content, and I'll see you next time.